Hi, I'm Jonathan Holding Cohen, and we're here at Jerry's Music Shop in South Hadley, and I'd like to show you how to take care of your instrument. Let's start with putting it away. You'll notice that I'm taking off my mouthpiece cap here. My mouthpiece cap is always on when my instrument is together, and I'm not playing. This is because it is very easy to bump this into a doorway or someone else to walk by with their tuba and smash it. These mouthpieces are rather expensive, and these mouthpiece caps are rather cheap. And I'd much rather them smash into my mouthpiece cap than into my mouthpiece. The other thing is it protects the reed. The reeds, they add up and uh, in, in cost and price, and you want to protect that as well. They also maintain moisture inside of this system here, which is important for your reed to stay wet uh, so that it vibrates properly when the time comes for you to play it again. So I first take off the mouthpiece cap, then I unscrew my ligature, and I don't pull the ligature all the way off again. I just slide it up just as I did when I was putting it together, just a little bit, and I slide the reed out. I don't grab the reed from the tip because I want to make sure that the whole thing stays whole. Then I take a reed case. This is a reed case made by Rico. Um, there are many great reed cases out there, and I slide it in very carefully. This one holds maybe eight reeds or so. I have five in here at the moment. Just slide it in there and close it up nicely and stay safe. Put that in the case. Now, I have my mouthpiece and my ligature. This ligature, as probably as yours, is prone to breaking and squishing. So I'm always very careful when I take this off. Remove the mouthpiece, holding on to the neck. It's easy when you're in a hurry to pull the mouthpiece off, but not quite straight. And actually, some people end up bending their necks, perhaps by pulling it off and pushing forward or pulling down on it, one of the two. So uh, you want to just be very careful. You hold onto the neck while you do this. And you also will, again, want to remember to use cork grease every time you put your instrument together so that this process goes very smoothly. So I have the mouthpiece in the one hand. I put the ligature back on the mouthpiece. I put the mouthpiece back in the cap. And then it's ready to go away. Now, these things have a tendency to bang around in this box here. And the mouthpiece cap can come off very easily. So I recommend that you find some way to secure it. Some people have a little bag, perhaps, a, draw, a drawstring bag, and they might keep their mouthpiece in so it all stays together and well protected. I took a very cheap route, and I used a ligature box, and I covered it with tape. And now I just put my mouthpiece in this ligature box and cover it up and put it in there. And is it very secure? No, but it will not bounce around inside of the case. It is very rare that I see the mouthpiece outside of this ligature box. With the neck, always remember to unscrew the neck before you pull it out of the body of the instrument. Um, otherwise, you will stretch out this joint here and uh, cause need for repair. So I've unscrewed this, and I am sort of twisting slowly as I pull this out. I store my neck upside down, and this spot here seems to work nicely for me. Then, very importantly, you must swab out your instrument. Do not forget about this step. Please remember to swab out your instrument. So first, you will take the swab. This is a very inexpensive swab. The cost of the swab really does not matter as far as we're concerned. Um, you want one that has a weight at one end. The other end here does not have a weight. This end has a weight. You take the end with the weight and you drop it in the bell here carefully. Then you turn over your instrument and you sort of press this up here until this comes out the end. You grab the weight and you pull it through. And this pulls out all the moisture, or at least a good uh, amount of the moisture that is remaining in the instrument. And then, of course, remember the mouthpiece cap. If you slide this in here without it, 
there's a very good chance that your octave mechanism will break at some point, whether on the way in, on the way out, or perhaps simply by uh, the instrument bumping into something while it's in the case. This mouthpiece cap is critical and very cheap. If you don't have one, please spend the $2.50 to get one to protect your instrument, even if it's not yours and you're borrowing it. So then you take it and you slide it into position just so. And that's how you put away the instrument. Make sure you have your mouthpiece cap at all times. Make sure that you hang on to the neck while you're taking the mouthpiece on and off, and uh, take care of your reed. And I will just reiterate that mouthpiece um, putting on and taking off bit once more with the tenor. A lot of people, you put the mouthpiece on like this, and you can really see that in my effort to push this this way, I may pull down and bend this neck further. So especially with the tenor saxophone, you might consider pushing it forward like this, holding onto the neck like this, and pushing straight down, such that your mouthpiece goes on properly. And the same goes with taking it off. And again, you'll see, when I use the mouthpiece cap, put the mouthpiece someplace safe, and now the instrument is ready to be stored or played again later.